Welcome to Better Know a Brush. We've got Victoria Pavlov with us, Thank the you. Photoshop artist. But today she's going to be the fresco artist, yes. uh, drawing in fresco. So, so exciting. First of all, what are you going to be drawing? We will be working on a Batman drawing because tomorrow is birthday, Batman's the birthday, and we decided to create something for Batman. So. And he's not his hunky, handsome self anymore, right? He's no. 80 years old? Yes, 80 years old. <laughs> Getting cold. <laughs> cool. Yes. And so, uh, since we're on Better Know Brush, what brushes are you using today? Uh, we, will, we will be working with Fresco, and I will be using live brushes. I will be using oil brushes, watercolor brushes, and uh, special effects brushes. Very All cool. brushes default fresco brushes. I didn't download anything special, so everything as it is. Cool. All right, I think we should get started. We've got a lot of people coming into the channel. Hey, everyone. Uh, Behance is my new TV. That's awesome. <laughs> <I like laughs> That's that. great. <laughs> Long live the bat. So we're going to have a little bit of Batman trivia throughout the session, so I hope everyone is ready. Uh, no cheating. No, no looking stuff up online. <laughs> oh, okay, guys, let's do it. And before I will start, if I will uh, we'll be not able to finish everything uh, during our stream. We have only one hour. I will finish uh, my painting during my flight and I upload on my behind tomorrow. Ooh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited. We'll be looking out for it. And uh, Brooke can answer all your questions about Fresco. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm the lead designer for Fresco, so give me all your Fresco questions. And I have um, created my um, rough outline of Batman. I created this outline in Fresco using uh, vector brushes. And uh, I created an um, empty layer on top of my um, sketch layer. And I will be using a live brush, oil um, paint brush with a black color. But as you know, guys, I prefer don't use um, a black color. It will be darkest shade of blue color. And guys, um, uh, I prefer keep my color palette open. So what I will do, I will click on my uh, color um, palette and I will move it to left, uh, right top corner. It's better for me. You can do anything you like. I will zoom in my document just like that. I will bring down size of my brush. Guys, look at this, how easy you can adjust anything in Fresco. Also, you can adjust your um, brush in any way you like. Cool. We've got some questions here about Fresco. Um, Dana is saying, will Fresco work with an iPad that is not an iPad Pro? So if you have an iPad that works with a pencil, that means Fresco will work for you, which is super exciting because now Apple has a bunch of different iPads that are not Pros that support the pencil. So if you have an iPad and your pencil works with it, uh, Fresco will work for you. Um, and we have a question if Fresco will be a paid app. So if you are part of the CC, if you're a CC subscriber, you will get Fresco for free, which is exciting. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And you will have all these amazing brushes, Kyle's brushes. We work with, um, we work with uh, Kyle's brushes um, on Wednesday and Tuesday. You saw live how amazing those brushes are. Mm -hmm. They're pretty awesome. And you can import... Uh, any of your Photoshop brushes into Fresco, which is pretty cool. Um, we have someone asking if there's a Fresco for Android, um, and I have to say not yet, and that is all I can say. And Amanda is asking which devices Fresco will be released. You can, and well, I should say, we, we are coming out soon yes. with Fresco on more devices, I guess is what I should say. It's not gonna be I iPad Pro only. Guys, cool. Fresco is amazing. It's uh, absolutely amazing app. I'm in love with Fresco. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> and I see you're using it in dark mode. Yes, I love that. Do you like dark the dark mode? mode? Yes, oh. I prefer dark dark mode in Photoshop. And dark mode for Batman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Um, yeah, so this is awesome. So what is actually super cool about Fresco is that you said that you did all of your outlines in vector. Yes. And now you're painting on it with your live oil brushes. Yes. Um, which is super cool. Yes. Fresco is amazing. Fresco is a very intuitive app. Example, if I will switch to my um, vector brushes, uh, Fresco will know about this and Fresco will create separate a layer for my uh, vector brushes. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to apply 
any extra step to specify a layer uh, to sepa I will say separate uh, my layers between raster live brushes and vector brushes everything is great yeah uh, and Dana's asking if there's a difference between Fresco and Sketch. And I can say, yes, there is a big difference between Fresco and ske Sketch. Fresco is basically Sketch on steroids. Um, <laughs> it has so many more tools. You'll notice down the side we have three different categories of brushes. And within those categories, you have a ton of different brushes. So you have the pixel brushes, which are your Photoshop brushes. You have the live brushes, which sort of are um, watercolor and oils that blend and bleed just like they will in the real world. And then you have vector yes. brushes. Um, then we have lasso tool. You've got the fill tool. Um, there's just a, a lot more a lot more tools yes. with Fresco. Um, and it syncs seamlessly with Photoshop. So you don't even have to worry about exporting your file from Fresco. It just automatically appears in Photoshop, which is really awesome. It is, it is. And many of you asked me uh, on Wednesday and Thursday how I opened my file I created in um, Fresco in Photoshop. So Brooke just answered it. Adobe magic. Yes. <laughs> Adobe magic. Yeah. Guys, uh, when Fresco will be released, just go download right away. Oh my God, you will have a lot of fun. I can yeah. guarantee. Yeah. Uh, Blanca is asking what kind of a file you save on Fresco. So Fresco works seamlessly with Photoshop. So um, it's a, essentially a, um, a PSD file, basically. So you can open it. It's a Photoshop file that you can open up. Um, and then if you create with any vectors, you can open those vectors up in Illustrator. Um, they'll come in as the layers as you've divided them. Um, and all the vector points are editable in Illustrator, which is pretty rad. Yeah. So I think it's time for our first Batman trivia question. What do you think? Of course. OK. Um, let's see. Let's, let's start with an easy one. So Batman is also referred to as the caped what? Do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, help me. <laughs> we'll see if anyone knows this. Yes. Everyone's furiously Googling the answer. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yes, Dana, next Tuesday, uh, Fresco will be available for everyone. Um, but you can get it on the App Store. So you can download it for pre-order, and it will automatically appear on your iPad. Oh my god. Which is like Apple magic, I guess. I don't uh, know. <laughs> it's really magic. Uh, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait till you will try it, and you will say, oh my god, we love it. Thank you, Fresco team. <laughs> So how do you go about picking colors? What's your color picking strategy here? I mean, obviously, Batman is a lot of blacks, but how do you decide what gray values to use? Um, intuitively. OK. Just whatever I want. <laughs> Sometimes I love um, using different colors. Mm -hmm. And it's always um, bring some uh, contrast and pop up um, attention, I will mm -hmm. say, yeah. this way. All right, um, we've got a question about pre-order. You go to the App Store on your iPad, um, and uh, I believe it's a featured app, but you should just be able to search for Adobe Fresco. And then there's a little blue button that says pre-order, and you just tap that, and on Tuesday morning, it will automatically appear on your oh iPad. Oh my god. Um, Adobe Fresco works with any iPad that supports a pencil. We've got that question going. So if you have a pencil, if you have an iPad that supports pencil, Fresco will work for you. Do what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to restock my um, sketch layer. What I will do, I will kind of have to long press on that. Yes, one. and just restock. See, for some reason. Okay, let's do this, and I will bring down opacity of this. Oh, I want to see everything, and we will continue working on it. So there's a question if we're going to be having a Photoshop review challenge today, and I do not believe that we will. I don't know about it. No, I don't think so. But we will be having a giveaway. We're going to be giving away stickers from Sticker Mule. 100 yes. free stickers for someone. Yes, we will. Uh, Lawrence is asking if you can control click on a thumbnail layer just like you can in Photoshop. Um, with Fresco, um, you can't do that right now. Um, but if you're wanting to load it as a selection, 
I'm trying to think. I'd have to look at it. I, I understand what you're trying to do. Victoria's Tesla is her Batmobile? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's Batmobile. Everything about Batman. <laughs> So the answer to the challenge question, the, the first Batman piece of trivia, is Batman is known as the Caped Crusader. Oh. We had a few people got that right. Thank you, guys. You saved me. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to outline all details of Batman outfit. And after that, I will blend everything using um, live brushes. It okay. will be super easy. Nice. I don't know if those of you noticed or not, but Victoria actually has on some some Batman wings, yes. I guess. I don't know what... Yes, this thing. <laughs> I don't know how to name it. And yes, your Apple Watch sides. is color-coordinated as well, yes. which is really nice. I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> saving Gotham City. Oh, yeah. Or maybe we're saving... We're saving... I don't know. We can save anything. We can save anything. <laughs> <laughs> just rough outline and mm -hmm. today i will be working on more loose painting because we don't have a lot of time and i yeah. want to finish as much as i can yeah but like you mentioned you're going to post it to be hands probably tomorrow yeah cool i have five hours of flight so i will be working on fresco <laughs> <laughs> jordan is impressed with how geared out you are in Thank Batman. you. Batman. Thank she you. She even has a little fresco pen that I gave her yes, this morning. Yes, look at this. <laughs> How cute is it? I'm happy, happy girl now. <laughs> I love, guys, I love fresco so much. Uh, so I'm super excited. It's a really, really amazing app. Uh, and you know me. I was posting uh, fresco images on my... Um, uh, Behance all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you are definitely, you've posted a lot. You've had Fresco for a long time. You were one of the early pre-release users, which is Thank cool. You you've got to see it evolve. Yes. <laughs> and Fresco team worked literally 24 by 7 to make this app simply amazing as it is right now. Aww. Thank you. It is. That's they so worked sweet. 24 by 7. Yeah. There's a lot of hard work that went into it. Yes. And there's more to come. That's the great thing is there's there's even more features that we have planned because this is just the first version of it. So first version and already perfect. <laughs> so when you're when you're coloring or when you're doing a drawing, do you know about how many layers you typically use? Typically, I use uh, a lot of layers because mm -hmm. I prefer to separate my layers by uh, colors just mm -hmm. in case to have full control. Mm -hmm. And after I'm happy with some particular layer, uh, color layer, I can bl um, merge them together and continue working. Gotcha. Some, uh, usually, I have not less than 100. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a ton. Yeah. Cool. Um, and Fresco, for those of you asking right now, I saw a couple people ask. Um, Fresco will be included in the Creative Cloud package. So if you are a CC subscriber, it is yours for free. Um, and then we also have a question about the watercolor engine. So it, it is Ooh. a new and improved watercolor engine. We used um, uh, this artificial intelligence AI, um, Adobe Sensei technology to train the watercolor engine. So it's all super way out of my understanding about how it, how it all happens, but it is magic and it looks really, it works really, really it's, well. It's amazing. I can show it to you. So I created a new layer under my sketch layer. It will be my background, my the sky layer. I will switch to my watercolor brushes. Um, my brushes. Watercolor brushes. We have many watercolor brushes, enough to start and finish uh, our workflow. I can click on any brush I like. I will switch color to darker blue because we are working on um, uh, our beautiful Batman image. Mm -hmm. I will increase size of my brush and just look at these guys. Let me increase size and a look. Everything yeah, blends. It's really amazing. It's a really, really. And then, did amazing. you know a trick? Do you ever use this little circle down here in the bottom? Yes. 
You did show at Photoshop World. Yeah, I did show yes. at Photoshop World. If you hold down on it while you're using the watercolor, yeah. it adds just water to yes, the canvas. Yes, and it will blend Which is everything. super cool, yeah. It's amazing. That's pretty cool. I saw that Jeff just joined. I actually know Jeff from Twitter. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> he does really awesome work in Sketch. So awesome. hopefully he'll get to use Fresco once it's out. Oh, yeah. Now I will and change just a color. Days. Yes, a couple of days. <laughs> I will change color, sh um, lighter shade of same color, and just look at this. And Fresco will blend everything for me. Look at this, like in real time. If I would like to add some bright uh, color, splashes of bright color, I can do it as well. Look at this. Fresco does everything for me. I don't need to do basically anything. Crazy. What I need to do, just enjoy my creation. <laughs> <laughs> and I can hide my layer, of course. Let's continue. Very cool. And my oil. You can switch between a brushes at any time, of course. Mm -hmm. And you can bring in your Photoshop brushes, but you feel like there's enough, you said there's enough brushes for you in there that you enough. haven't brought any. No, enough, enough brushes. Yeah. We worked with um, Kyle Webster, who is like the brush guy. Oh, yeah. He's the famous amazing. brush guy. And he is the one that shows all of these gorgeous brushes that come default with the app. We worked with uh, Kyle's brushes for the last two days. We created painting in Photoshop using only Kyle's brushes. Yeah. He's, he's pretty amazing. Do you know that he also um, is a really good magician? No. Yes, he does magic tricks. Really? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is really cool how you're just like quickly roughing in some of the detail areas. Yes. And after I will be happy with my details, I will merge my layers and I will blend everything using same brush. All right, I think we're ready for another Batman trivia. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, let me find a good one. <laughs> I got to find a good, good trivia question. Help who, me. Who were Batman's parents? Oh, they were killed. Yeah. Do we know their names, though? No. I'm bad with <laughs> names. Guys, uh, I'm very bad with all names. Very I bad. would not guess that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People are saying if you say brush three times fast that Kyle Webster will appear. Unfortunately, okay. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I can do it, but I'm not sure if he will be here. All right. For those of you answering, um, Mr. and Mrs. Wayne, we need their first names. Uh, yeah. The first names of Batman's parents. And it looks like... I saw Thomas and Martha. Julio got it right first. Thomas and Martha are the names. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't know that one. Me too. I, if I remember correctly, on October 6th, we will have another um, show will be just released. It's Bad Woman. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm hmm Is it a movie or is it a TV show? A TV show. Okay. Yeah, this is coming together really well. Thank you. You're so fast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. So if you will increase size of your brush, you can uh, blend everything just um, Perfectly fine. If your brush will be in smaller size, you need to apply two, three brush strokes in, instead of one. Mm -hmm. Do you know that you can increase and decrease the amount of blendiness? How? See this little circle right here? Yeah. <gasps> yes. Yeah, so that will, it will mix the paint more or less depending on what you mm -hmm. want. So if you want it to mix a lot, then you turn it way up. 
Thank you. I forgot about this. Thank you so much. See, she knows <laughs> everything. This I was talking about. Yeah, there's lots of cool little hidden features. Yeah, amazing app. And the best part, you can use, um, you can be creative from anywhere. Yeah, that is the really nice part of it. The cool thing is, is that iPads are becoming so powerful mm -hmm. that they're almost more powerful than computer, some computers, you know? Yes, I agree. And I know many people who use only a, a iPad. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, last, was it last week? Apple announced um, the iPad that's three hundred dollars. Yes. yes. So, yeah, that's and a works good deal. with i i pencil, mm -hmm. Apple mm -hmm. pencil, I mean. Apple pencil. Yep. So, just guys, it will be a lot of layers, a layer on top of another layer, on top of another layer. So now, what I'm doing, I'm just um, uh, it's kind of um, a rough outline again, but with colors, because I would like to blend everything together. It will be my base layer. And after that, I will start applying all the details. Same principle like I did in Photoshop. Same principle if we will be using a um, traditional method of painting. Mm -hmm. And the best part of using sketch, it's like your traditional method of painting, uh, like you painting, um, painted um, at school. You don't need to learn anything. They did mm -hmm. amazing job. <laughs> and you don't have a bunch of cleanup when you're done either. Yes. <laughs> and you don't smell like turpentine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Believe or not, guys, um, you know, I have dog Lisa. When I use um, traditional method of painting, when she sings me um, next to my uh, easel, she always starts uh, like, I want to go outside. I want to talk to you. <laughs> it's all the time when I use my digital um, uh, painting, um, iPad or Photoshop, she just, she doesn't care. <laughs> it's funny, but it, uh, this is what she do. She wants attention. Uh huh. Well, specifically when I use my easel. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. We have a lot of people waiting for chat and win. I think it's going to happen in about six minutes. So stay tuned. Maybe, should we? I'm trying to think about what we should ask the, the chat for the chat and win. Oh, I have a good idea. Okay. I have a good one. <laughs> A lot of people are saying they love your accent. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you made my day. Maybe year. Thank you. <laughs> and Batman has a lot of details in his outfit, so mm -hmm. a lot of time need to be spent of creating something realistic looking. Mm -hmm. Now I will add part of his face. As I said, guys, it's just a rough outline. But it's looking really, really good. Thank you. Okay, people are asking for more Batman trivia. Okay. And this is popular. Okay, I'll, <laughs> do, I'll do one that you'll know. So, Batman operates in what fictional city? Gotham. Yep. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Victoria! <laughs> I remember it! <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll ask another, I'll ask a hard one for the, the Batman, the Batman uh, people on the channel. Okay. Um, who created the Batman character? Guys. I don't know. Google it. <laughs> Google it. So you're blending a lot of these in. So it looks like you, the technique that you're using is you're making lot like straight lines, and you're kind of kind of smudging it. Uh -huh. or, okay. 
It's giving some really nice shading. Thank you. And after that, it will be easier to add um, a few more uh, mm -hmm. details. Mm -hmm. so, you, so your technique is to sort of get the base, sort yes. of like layer, kind of general color, mm -hmm. and then you'll go in and, and clean up with more details yes. afterwards. Yes, cool. it will be easier. Also, uh, in Fresco, we can do this. If I will add extra layer, empty layer, I will change color, example, dark blue color. And I will switch to special effects brushes. Here, um, not special effects, I'm sorry. Uh, we have uh, comics brushes, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. If we will click, we have many amazing choices we can make. So any brush you like, you, you definitely can increase or decrease size of your brush and just it's too much. I will decrease size and just like this. Oh, cool. Yes, and because definitely you need to do better job. I'm just showing yeah. you some example. You can uh, change a blend mode just to any blend mode you like and it will be like texture yep. over his outfit. Yeah, so Fresco has all of the Photoshop blend modes so you're not missing any of them. That no. list is super long um, when you scroll it. Um, this is not Procreate, this is Adobe Fresco. It's coming no. out in four, four days? Tuesday. Tuesday. Four it's days. It's better than Procreate. <laughs> I think it has some, there's some stuff that's, you know, really cool about Fresco. Um, it syncs automatically with Photoshop, so you don't have to worry about exporting your a PSD file to Photoshop you know, airdropping it to mm -hmm. your computer, opening it up. You just open up Photoshop and the file that you're working on in Fresco is automatically there, which is pretty cool. It is. You can speed up your workflow just. Mm -hmm. And you can go back and forth between Photoshop and Fresco, no problem. Mm -hmm. No lag, no nothing. So Philip says that he prefers the blue Batman costume. You can add uh, extra layer, um, apply blue color to your um, comics brush and just brush mm -hmm. it up. I like the black one, I think. Thank you. Now I will add his face. So I will create a new empty layer. I will bring back visibility of my sketch layer. I will change color of my brush, just like this. A little bit darker. And Let's rock and roll. Very cool. Um, so for those of you who are super excited about Fresco seamlessly syncing with Photoshop, um, we will have that once we get the new version of Photoshop, um, which I don't, that's coming soon. I can't tell you the exact date of that, but that's when you'll be able to see that really cool seamless syncing. So Suzanne is asking if Fresco is just for iOS or when will it come to Windows devices? What I can say um, is Fresco is coming to a lot more devices than just the iPad. Um, and I can safely say just wait a couple of months. Hold tight. <laughs> <laughs> Fresco for everyone, for um, Artists who prefer to work with vector brushes or with raster brushes mm -hmm. or special effects brushes, Fresco combines everything. Yep. All right. We have got the chat and win countdown in 15 seconds. Oh. When it's time, I've got the question that we want you to answer. Me? What uh, is no. your favorite Photoshop brush? That's the chat and win. Okay. So. It's time. Tell us your favorite Photoshop brush, and you could be entered uh, into a drawing for a chance to win 100 free stickers from Sticker Mule. So it'll be, cu I'm curious to see what everyone, everyone likes. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Chat and win. Oh, there we go. There goes the chat. Okay. Lots of charcoal manga brushes. Interesting. Huh. It's Kyle brush. Splatter brushes. Pencil. It's a good one. 
Lots of charcoal. Mm-hmm. Is that amazing? Yeah. Calligraphy. Ooh, maybe you have some hand letters out there. Is that amazing brushes? <laughs> I'm excited to see who the winner is. Mom. All right, our winner is Everardo Rivera Lopez. Congratulations. Congratulations! You just won 100 free stickers from Sticker Mule. Wow. Um, but for the rest of you, uh, we also have a promo code. You can go to stickermule.com slash adobelive19, and you can get 10 stickers of your own for $1, which is a pretty great deal. Very great deal. I need a few new stickers on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said all the Kyle brushes are their favorite. Oh yes, I'm with you on this. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I don't know how he comes up with all the ideas. Me too. Every, like what, four times a year he comes out with uh, a new pack every season? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Winter brushes, mm -hmm. summer brushes, and they all are super, super amazing and helpful. Yep, they're pretty awesome. Oh yeah. He did a talk um, at 99U this year about um was it um taking like taking taking time to to think or to dream and he said that that's how he comes up with a lot of his ideas like one time he had just eaten lunch and he was like he had some like beets on his plate and there was uh -huh. some like vinegar and he was looking at the beets and the vinegar and how it the red from the beets was mixing with the vinegar and it inspired him to make a different kind of brush so easy right <laughs> so easy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only for Kyle, it's easy. I know. He's amazing. Yeah, he is really, really amazing. Kyle the brush man. That's a good one. Yes. Batman and brush man. <laughs> and he, he's an amazing artist. Amazing. Yeah, he's very, very talented. Yes. All right, so you're still on the oils, right? Yes, still on oils, still trying to outline all details mm -hmm. because he has a lot of details and they're important for his outfit. But again, guys, um, definitely um, you need more time to start and finish um, Batman yeah. painting. It's very rough sketch <laughs> and painting. <laughs> it looks really good though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Jeff is asking uh, if we will have multiple artboards for storyboarding. Uh, he's not seeing it in the beta. What I can tell you is that we know that storyboarding is a really big feature that people want to be working on. Um, so I think I can leave it at that. Uh, we know that that's a, that would be a very helpful feature for a lot of people. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of features that are not in the first version that you will see coming very soon. We've got a lot of really cool stuff planned for Fresco. Um, this is just the first version, and so there's a ton more stuff we want to put into it. So Richard is asking, is this app free with a one-time in-app purchase for 10 bucks? Um, this uh, Fresco is actually part of your Creative Cloud subscription. So if you have Creative Cloud, uh, you will get Fresco for free, which is pretty cool. Yes. So do you have a favorite Batman person who played Batman? The last one. The last one? Yes. Is it Christian Bale? Mm, I'm bad with names. Okay. Guys. Who's the last person that played Batman? Tell me, guys. <laughs> Victoria needs help. <laughs> yes, I'm bad with all names. I'm honest. <laughs> like Christian Bale as well. They all are good. Yeah. Oh, Ben Affleck was the yes. last one? Yes. Yes. Oh. I have not seen that one. Oh, he's great. <laughs> some people on the chat say yes and no. Some people agree and some people do not. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone has strong opinions on that one. Yes. It's like asking people, um, oh, I totally just blinked on a the the show. It's another show that had a ton of different people play. I'm totally blinking. That was not a good story. It's uh, <laughs> it's me. I'm, I'm bad with show's name, movie's names, with uh, general names. Yeah. It's, uh, never ask me about names or show names. Okay. 
So Richard says, um, I do not have a Creative Cloud because it's too high price for amateurs like me. Um, so you will be able to get Fresco on its own, which is exciting. So if you, if you aren't a subscriber to Creative Cloud, you can get it on its own. That's cool. Yeah, Bond, James Bond. Thank you, Hugo. Oh, James Bond. Everyone right. has an opinion about James Bond, which one was the best. Yeah, and uh, as I read, it's, they will release the last uh, uh, James Bond soon. I heard a, a rumor that there was going to be a woman. Yes. Yeah. It will be. Okay. What I will do now, guys, I will add a few splashes of uh, yellow color, just a little bit, just a few. I will bring down a flow of my brush. You can treat flow like basically opacity of your brush. And just I will apply a few brush strokes like here. Maybe I will increase size. And just like this. And also I can bring down opacity of my layer, of course. Hmm. Just like this. Good highlight. Yes, thank you. Highlights are super important. And I will blend everything together. Okay, let me merge my layers. As you can see, guys, you can merge your layers. You can uh, apply mask and anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Fresco, that's one thing people are asking. What's the difference between Sketch and Fresco? Fresco also has masks, which yes. is awesome. We have layer masks right now, and clipping masks are coming very soon. Oh, that's awesome. I know. Just like this. And now what I will do, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to previous brush, half tone of four, and I will change color to blue, middle shade. I will increase size of my brush just like this, and I will just apply a few brush strokes, just like this. Oh yeah, that's very cool. Kind and of gives yeah. it the like, metallic feel. Yes. It's really subtle. And I can bring down opacity of this layer too. And I will apply a little bit here. We have someone on the chat saying that they wish they could draw like you do. Thank you, guys. You can. <laughs> Victoria's you can. awesome, isn't she? <laughs> Thank you. You can, guys. Believe me, you can. Just download Fresco on Tuesday and start playing. Mm -hmm. And you will do it. And Fresco is the best app um, to start your painting journey because it's mobile, it's always with you. And it's amazing. All brushes, vector, raster, um, watercolors, mm -hmm. everything. And if you if you ever, I don't know if anyone on the chat uses Capture to create brushes. Oh, yeah. um, Capture is a free mobile app. Um, you can actually create Photoshop brushes in Capture. So you can like take a picture and you can turn it into... Um, a Photoshop brush, which is actually super cool. I've got some really awesome brushes that I've created with Capture. You can also import those into Fresco, That's which is amazing. really cool. Yeah. So as you see, guys, um, Fresco, the Fresco team thought about everything, how to make our lives easier. <laughs> they did it. They did it. Yep. Very soon. And we can't wait. I know. It's like you're just teasing everyone by drawing in it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about Fresco nonstop. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like how you have your color picker open all the time. It's easier. It makes it easier, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I can bring next to it my um, mm -hmm. uh, brushes setting panel, and yep. if I would like, I can restart it back. Yep, makes it super handy. You can also mm -hmm. switch the toolbar over to the right hand side and yes. layers to the left if that's how you like it. Um, I know some people draw like that. I think it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> It messes with my head. 
Maar dit voel ik customizable aan. Ja, yeah, it is very, very customizable. There's also a full screen mode, and so when you go into the full screen mode, Just like this. everything goes out of the way, but you still have access to your tools and yes. your layers and whatever you had on the canvas. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah. So someone is asking if I helped create the app. Um, and yeah, I did. I'm the lead designer for it. So if you have any fresco questions, she's the right not, person. She's not here. <laughs> She um, layer count. The layer count is unlimited, which is exciting. Part. So if you want to create a giant document and create a thousand layers and blow up your iPad, yes, <laughs> you can. You can. <laughs> and guys, if you are um, working with a large size document, no lag, no nothing, it's just perfect. It's perfect. I have also a um, dog tag with a Batman, but I didn't wear it. <laughs> a dog tag with <laughs> <Yes>. Batman? <laughs> That's funny. Were you like bat Batman for Halloween one year or something? I will be this year. <laughs> <laughs> I know I need to figure out what I'm going to be for Halloween. It's difficult. Yeah. Guys, what you think about what you will do on Halloween? Yeah. What outfit do you have in mind? Yeah, it's always a hard one. Yeah. Maybe this year I will try to dress um, my Lisa in some outfit. <laughs> Your dog? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's not a big fan of outfit. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, but I will try. Yeah. Jeff is asking if it's possible to group layers in Fresco, and it is. You just yes. drag one layer on top of the other, and it creates a group. Yes. So. And you, you can know, undo it. Yeah, and um, like for Victoria, she's merging her layers, mm -hmm. um, but you could actually just group them, which is yes, which is a good option as well. I think it's time for another Batman trivia. Let's do it. Okay. Let's say. Okay, here's a hard one for the, the Batman fans out there. In 2015, fans cited ranked Batman as the number one on their list of what? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, help me again. Help, help, help. Yes. <laughs> So if you're going to be Batman this year, what would Lisa be? I think you have to coordinate it. Yes. The Joker? I have mask everything. <laughs> I, I need to think about it. <laughs> I need to try something uh, fun this year. Yeah. So we've got a couple more Fresco questions. Blanca is asking if Fresco exports as a PNG. Fresco can export PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF and PSD, but the files will automatically sync with Photoshop, so you don't even have to worry about exporting as a PSD if you want to open it up in Photoshop. Also, you can open up any of your Photoshop files in Fresco, which is super yes. rad. Yes. Yes. Um, and then there was another question that I saw. Oh, is Fresco available for Android? And what I can say is not yet. We're coming out on many devices, um, so stay tuned. Can I show one um, cool feature in yes. Fresco? Yes. Um, time lapse? Yeah. So if we will go to share icon and we will click on a publish and export, here we have a time lapse export. You will export. You will click on it and look at this magic, guys. What? Yeah. That's so awesome. Yes, it is. I love watching it. You know what I really love about the time lapse feature is that you can see someone's process. Yes. So you can see how they work. And yes. I think that's a really great learning opportunity. Yes. It's it's so awesome. Look at this. I love it. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to worry. Uh, should you click on something to record time lapse or something? You don't need to worry about it. Fresco does everything for you. Mm -hmm. So now we have kind of outline. Mm -hmm. 
I will try to blend everything more. Okay. Just like this. Very nice. Thank you. So we'll say we have about probably 10 minutes left oh. on this stream, but never fear. If, Vic if Victoria doesn't finish it, she's going to be posted on her Behance page. Yes. I will post it tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm working on a Saturday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow is his birthday. <gasps> oh, okay. Just in time. Yes. So I asked the question about... Um, Batman was ranked as number one on a certain list in 2015, and he was ranked number one on the 50 greatest superheroes in comic book history. <gasps> number one. Wow. He is... I, I have to agree. Yes. Yeah. Me too. He's probably my favorite. Yes. Okay, let's do a little bit of uh, special effect brushes put in use. Uh, I would like to add a little bit clouds on his background, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of... Um, different brushes let me click to smoke below mm, that's a good one i like that one all right uh white color i can bring down uh, opacity of my layer at any time and increase size and just like this look at these guys a little bit more yeah. smoky effect and it looks like if you press harder it yes gets bigger yes and let's bring down opacity or let's uh, try to change a blend mode first. Always trying blend mode first. We can combine blend mode with our layer opacity. Oh, and we can bring down opacity of our layer just like that. Oh, very nice. I like that. Thank you. It's like foggy and... Yeah, mystery. Yeah, that's nice. Like he is... Oh, I read that he uh, married to a cat woman. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know that piece of trivia. Yeah, I read. It's about a year ago. I was going to find one more trivia before we have to, to go off air. Now, guys, I will switch to uh, vector brushes. You can combine many different brushes. I will switch to... Um, my favorite uh, vector brush with black color. I will increase size of my brush. I um, created a new empty layer, just in case you know I love layers. And I will just outline, just like this. Hmm, to kind of clean up the edges. Yes. Yep, very cool. All right, last Batman trivia. Batman became popular soon after his introduction in what year? No Googling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Richard says you can set multiple colors on a brush that gets triggered by pressure. Um, so there are some brushes called dual brush, um, which do actually have two colors um, in them. Yeah. So you don't have to do anything. No, everything is ready. Mm -hmm. Everything is ready, guys. Oh, Philip said that they canceled the wedding. Catwoman left Batman, and so they canceled the wedding. Really? I even saw the, her dress. Huh. Huh. I need to read about it. The plot thickens. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So Everardo is right. 1939 was Batman's... Yes, 80 years. Batman's year. 80 years old tomorrow. It's very exciting. <sighs> yeah. A vector brush good. will mm -hmm. add a little bit more details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really, I, I was kind of surprised when I saw you adding sort of the gold color to his, to his um, armor, but uh -huh. it looks really good. It reflects you, everything. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is so cool. So what you've done in this painting is you've used vector brushes, you've used the live. Oil, oil brushes and you've used the pixel brushes as well yes. which is pretty cool the fact that you can use all of those now just as a reminder you can if you open this up in photoshop any of the vector brushes will be vector smart objects 
Um, and if you open up an Illustrator you, as well, you'll have all of your layers, um, but the vectors will be 100% editable, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. You can start vo working from anywhere. You can um, open your files on your desktop and continue working mm -hmm. when you are ready. Okay, so apparently the story is that Catwoman was in the dress but decided to leave. Oh. Man. Bummer. Not cool, Catwoman. No. Not cool. I'm so sorry. I was excited about it. She's always running. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Really good. Oh, we've got right? like five minutes or so. Yeah. We've still got plenty of time. Yeah, we do. A couple of people are saying it looks like a Batman jack o' lantern because he doesn't have a <laughs> mouth on him yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But he will when you post him tomorrow. Yeah. For his birthday. He will. As I said, I will have five hours of flight. So. I know, that's plenty of time. Yeah. And I will blend everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like how you use the blend modes too. Thank you. That's really nice. All right, thank you, Cars, for joining us. Cars said he had to go. Thank you. So are you on the newest iPad? Pro? Yes. Do you like it? Yes, I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's really fast, isn't it? Yes, it's fast, it's a nice size, and mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. I have the the newest one, and it feels like a computer. It so is, fast. it is. I know many people, again, um, use uh, iPad instead of um, computer. Mm -hmm. Melinda says, I love your shirt, Victoria. Very fitting Thank that you. you're drawing Batman. And, and I have your this. wings. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they can fly. <laughs> Philip is asking if there's options to add textures to the artwork. And I'm curious, Philip, what are you asking? What kind of textures? We have tons of tons of brushes built in that you can add textures to. Um, you can yes. create a layer mask and you know add texture over. Absolutely. Look, we have comics, uh, brushes, package, a lot of uh, different brushes. Um, they're amazing. You can add like your texture. You can add uh, brushes from um, uh, special FX brushes. Mm -hmm. Look at these brushes. We have a lot of them. We have many different brushes, also um, dry media brushes. Mm -hmm. And the best part, you can um, adjust your brush. Yeah, you can make tons of adjustments. Yeah. And because there's so many brushes, we've added something called brush favorites. So there's a star beside each brush, and you can tap that star, and then that brush will always be available to you in the yes. favorites tab. Like this. Mm -hmm. So if you go, can I touch your screen? Yeah. Yep, so you have a bunch of favorited brushes. So it makes it really easy to find the brushes that you like to use all the time. Absolutely. And um, let me show to you why we have a few seconds. Uh, let me save this document. I want to show to you how you can create something uh, full related in um, Sketch, um, I'm sorry, in Fresco. I opened already, I have opened Sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's saving because it's a big file, guys. A lot of layers. Yeah. The brushes are free that are in the app um, because they're part of the Creative Cloud subscription. There are lots of Kyle's brushes. I love um, And they're just awesome. Just give me a few seconds. It will save. Again, it's yeah. a huge file. We are done. Closer, closer. Now I will open my uh, pumpkin. We worked on this pumpkin yesterday in Photoshop, and now I will show how you can do same thing in uh, Fresco with um, faster result and great result. Yeah, and some people ask that if um, Photoshop has the live brushes, and they do not actually. Mm -mm. So we don't. So let me hide uh, all 
layers, I have opened my sketch layer. I will click on plus sign. I will add um, extra layer, empty layer. I will switch to my watercolor brush. I will change a color of my brush. I will increase flow opacity and I will increase size of my brush. And a look at this. Let me increase size. And a look at this, guys. Let me close also this. Super fast. It's super fast. Um, it's just crazy good. Mm -hmm. Look at this watercolor brushes. Everything blends uh, for me. I will switch to another color. Increase size. And just like this. Love it. Guys, look at this. This is amazing. If I would like to add another color, I can do as well a little bit uh, down here. If I would like to add a little bit splashes of water, I can do this as well. I will create a new empty layer. Like Brooke said, I can um, click and uh, just blend everything or I can switch to white color, increase size of my brush and just apply few splashes of water. Mm -hmm. It's like um, traditional uh, water brush. Yep. Look at this. Love it. Lovely. I think with that, we have to wrap it up. And we'll be posting Batman tomorrow on Victoria's <laughs> Behance <laughs> channel. It was fun hanging out with you guys. Hope you have a great Friday and have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Bye.